May we invite you to say a few words? Oh, why not you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really attend the retreat. So uh, I, um, I went to retreat in a, a phrase once used by a monk uh, living at, uh, after a stay at a Bhagiri monastery, we said, what's it been like living here? And he said, it was an eternity that went by in a flash. An eternity that went by in a flash. So winter retreats can be like that. That phrase often comes to mind. That just suddenly March 31st has come around, but during the course of the winter retreat time, then each day, uh, each hour, each minute can be uh, extraordinarily long and extensive. But I sincerely hope this time has been beneficial for everyone. Uh, uh, as I mentioned this morning at the, the morning chanting, uh, my brother-in-law passed away yesterday, Tony Hill. He was uh, 78, uh, he would, be seven, would have been 79 in a couple of weeks' time. Um, and uh, he had been ill, seriously ill, with vascular dementia for the last uh, about three years and uh, had lived about a couple of years longer than the doctors had expected. Uh, but he passed away uh, yesterday morning. He had a, a short convulsion about 10.45 and he, was, uh, he died before 11 o'clock. Uh, so my sister was with him. But it was, uh, uh, I was reflecting how the day before I'd been given I've been giving some morning reflections about the uncertainty of life and how long we can all expect to live. And even though uh, Tony, my brother-in-law, was was unwell for quite some time, it did go very, very fast. It was, quote-unquote, an, an ordinary day. Uh, and that nothing, there was no signs that today was going to be the last day. And then and he was gone. So uh, I do feel these reflections that the, the Lord Buddha offered us on uh, uncertainty and uh, urgency in practice and the fragility of life are really significant. They're, they're, he's, this is the real thing. <laughs> you know, the, the breath can go out and not come in again. And so the, um, the days and nights are precious. They are Im important and precious to us. And particularly w when we are living in community and there's a lot of uh, activities going on, there are many responsibilities and duties that we share, we can get wrapped up in those, um, the kind of uh, mechanics of living and the, the dynamics of community and all the uh, many and various details of our lives. So I, I feel it's so important and the winter retreat time is a time to really refresh that perspective, refresh that vision, like every moment is precious. This is the big moment. <laughs> It's not. It's not later on. It's not next. It's this moment. And as Lumpur Sumedho has been offering in many of his teachings, it's a, the Dharma is a kaliko. It's timeless. It's it's here now. It's not just over there. And so, uh, even in the midst of activities, as they begin over the next few days, and the members of the monastic community in particular start to get engaged in more uh, doings and, and uh, comings and goings to really uh, take this to heart every moment is precious this this is the big moment this is this is uh, the uh, precious opportunity that we have to awake to be awakened and so that uh, taking the time of that we've had together in the winter retreat and to say consciously uh, uh, recollect that and let that have its effect on our attitude and the way that we relate to our our days, the people we live with, uh, the work that we're doing, all of the, the activities and the comings and goings that we're all a part of, then that same spirit of presence, of uh, attention to the, the reality of uh, this moment, that will carry on through the, the flowing days of April, May, June, and you know, as the, the year takes shape, that same quality of, of presence and uh, heartfelt attunement to this Reality will be something that informs our, our days, our vision. I also would like to particularly dedicate any blessings coming from this retreat to, to Tony, my brother-in-law. Uh, he and my sister, they both had assumed they would never get married. They were, uh, she was in her late, uh, late 30s and he was in his late 40s when they met. And they were both sort of surprised to encounter each other and find each other and then get married. He was 50, she was 40. 
And to their great surprise, they found each other. Uh, I gave her away at their wedding. My, uh, our father had just passed away a few weeks before, so I had the experience of walking my sister down the aisle of a village church in southeast Eng southwest England. And, uh, and it, they've had a good 25, uh, 28 years together. And so I feel he was a, a very fine person, very much uh, loved and appreciated in his local community. And so I, I, uh, it's sad that he's passed on, but I feel he lived a, a very good life. And I'd like to offer the punya, whatever blessings coming from this retreat, to support him in his uh, onward journey.